field one day listening to Jesus. The crowd was unbelievable. Some said that there were more than 5,000 men alone. Now, Jesus was telling the most fantastic things. And it was later that day that one of his disciples came and asked me what was in my basket. Just five loaves and two fish was all I had, but he told me to go and give it to Jesus. I was thinking, what does Jesus want with my little bit of food? But I went and gave it to him anyway. And then Jesus lifted up my fish and my bread, gave it to his disciples, who then passed it out to the crowd. It just kept coming and coming. He fed thousands, and when it was all over, they filled 12 huge baskets with the leftovers. I've never seen anything like it. Tell me who could ever forget that day when he took the fish and the bread, saying, Father, bless what I give away, and everyone in the crowd got fed. Well, I know that I'll never be the same, and I've come to know and believe that what Jesus blesses in his own name is a blessing sure to be well received. All together now praise the Lord for the miracle that we see. Let us come together in one accord, sing hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah. I was at my usual spot, begging for alms with a friend of mine who was also blind. We had been hearing for days about this man named Jesus. Then suddenly, a crowd hurried by us, shouting that Jesus was coming our way. We started grabbing at people's cloaks and yelling as loudly as we could, have mercy on us, son of David. Then I felt a hand on my shoulder, and I knew Jesus was beside us. He touched our eyes, and suddenly we could see. I fell on my knees before him. My heart was so filled with gratitude. I wanted to run and tell the whole world what he had done for me. But Jesus had a different plan. He put his arms around us, held us close, and told us not to speak a word. Not to speak a word. I've got to tell somebody. Tell somebody. I've got to 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 tell somebody. Got to tell somebody what Jesus did for me. I've got to tell somebody. Got to tell somebody what Jesus did for me. I gotta tell somebody, gotta tell somebody what Jesus did for me. I gotta tell somebody, gotta tell somebody what Jesus did for me. You know, most of the time, I don't have to tell people what Jesus did for me. There's always a crowd following me everywhere I go telling everybody about this incredible thing that happened to me. You see, it, it, it wasn't long ago that a different sort of crowd was gathered around me. It was a crowd of mourners. And I was dead. And I had been dead for four days. I mean, even the smell of death had set in. And when Jesus showed up, well, he started crying too. But then he took action. He said, Remove the stone. Did I not say to you, if you believe, that you will see the glory of God? <laughs> I'm not so sure anybody knew what that meant. Then he said a short prayer. Oh, but there was power in that prayer. How much power? Well, I can hear his voice ringing through that tomb. And I can feel that power in me, a dead man. And I can hear his voice calling out my name. He said, Lazarus. Lazarus, oh Lazarus, come forth. He's calling Lazarus, 
Oh, Lazarus! 